What up guys, it's your boy David back here in a Young Bros production with another video. This is my baby back here. Finally painted, as you guys saw in the last video. Here we go. That sexy bumper. Yeah, but hey, uh, today is a different video. It's not about my car. It's about a customer that came to me. Um, the problem came up was they filled half the tank with diesel, not figured it out, and uh, turned around and put uh, the rest of the tank in a regular gas, the 87. And uh, obviously you can't do that whenever your car is just straight gas, but it's not as bad as whenever you're uh, putting uh, uh, regular gas into a diesel car. So here's another video guys for you that I'll be pretty much trying to fix this person's car for them. I'm gonna be uh, pretty much pumping out all the, all the gas that was put in there and the diesel with this little uh, thing and um, in this container and I have a couple buckets over there because I wasn't ready for this so yeah this is a, it's a Honda Civic it's a 2003 and uh, yeah so I had the car brought over to me and uh, if you guys do this it's best not to start up the car at all so I didn't even start up this morning I just got home from college and uh, yeah pretty much gonna try to pump everything out because once it goes in there, you got to clean all the seals, the fuses and everything because it can really damage your car. So it's best to drain the whole thing, clean everything inside. So yeah, let's get to the getting all the gas out. All right, guys. So I, uh, I tried to pump the gas out of the gas tank from the outside, but I figured out the newer cars, they actually have a flap all the way at the end of the tank. So you can't put a tube into there. So I decided to take the whole gas tank actually down and what it's only held with. All right, hopefully you guys can see, but it's held with like four straps. Here's one of them. There's one on the other side. There's one right here and on the other side. They're only held with like a 14 uh, socket. So yeah, it shouldn't be that bad. So yeah, I only propped up one side of the car, have it on jack and uh, two jack stands. So I pretty much unscrewed the whole tank now and you want to have something underneath the tank and have somebody to help you Like my bro came out here to help me and pretty much now. I'm just gonna take that uh, Little chair from underneath the tank and I'm, we're gonna drop it onto the ground and just pull it out See you guys when I'm done with that All right guys here. We are now as you can see we've been able to get like almost a whole bucket of uh, gas out well, gas and um, diesel. We've been uh, draining like this. I did one of these. It's like a clamp that uh, goes on the pool. Can't find it right now, but it's back there. Oh yeah, I see it right here. One sec. Here it is. You just undo one of these on one of these hoses that connects up there, right there. And uh, yeah, we just lowered the tank so it's uh, not level. And we're trying to, uh, Say, uh, drain it at the lowest point so hopefully we can drain most of it out and yeah putting in a small container all this then dumping it back into the buckets and yeah it's a long process I didn't think I would have to take the whole uh, tank out but hey you gotta do what you gotta do because I found out since like I said I think before in the video that the newer cars are now have a flap inside so they can't um, um, you can't fit a I don't know what those tubes called but you you pump it out and it's like a soft soft ream pump you guys know what I'm talking about but you put it into the gas tank where you fill it up the car and uh, just pump it and it comes out but now they made it so there's a specific flap so you can't push it in there you can only you know get water into there so this is the best way we found out how to do it so yeah all right guys here we are <laughs> Holding the tank up. We finally got everything unhooked. It was ridiculous But we slowly drained as much as we could and now we're just holding it up. This is what a uh, Honda Civic 2004 uh, Sorry 2003 look like and we're pretty much dumping everything that we can we're gonna clean all, all the way Flush it and yeah guys. This is pretty much all that you have to do to flush the tank and uh, There might be another video coming up for next series to show you guys how you got to clean the fuses and uh, make sure that the 
this uh, gasoline and diesel got in <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get, sorry guys, I'm trying to teach my bro to figure out how to see how, where the um, hole is in the tire and it's great, he's learning a lot. Uh, I'm happy that he's actually out here because it's about to storm, we got a tornado coming, but that's okay. So you guys, thank you guys for staying tuned, subscribe to Young Bros Production, hit that little bell so you guys get notifications when more videos are coming out. You guys have a good day, stay warm, watch out for the storm, peace. Alright guys, here we go, and this is... Uh, the bulbs that you have to check. Take these out. The connector is pretty simple, just little clips. Uh, I already unscrewed it, you have to get a long extension. I unscrewed it, and since I don't have a good magnet, I'm gonna push back onto it. And hopefully, it'll come right out. And this one's still screwed in. That's how I got the one my dad's working on. So yeah, you just get them out and clean them up. Because if you start it and then you don't clean these, your motor's gonna die and you don't want that. It's gonna pretty much kill everything and you won't, it'll just get stuck on the middle of the road.